Oh my god, we just went into this pool of water and it's like a huge, huge ditch. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. I thought we had to go over here and check this out. Look at this! They built some statues. Oh, hold on, there might be some metal on the ground here. Oh, there's a lot of nails, hey? Oh, we wanted to take a picture with the other bumblebee, the Transformers bumblebee! <laughs> Gotta do a circle and hope that we don't get a flat tire. <laughs> Whoa, there's so much metal rubbish out here. Oh my goodness, look at this! Just bits of metal everywhere. Go this way and hope for the best. Enough stops. Now it's time to visit the salt flats. Woohoo! Oh, be careful. Oh, here we go. Some dogs, as usual. Oh my lord, the whole neighborhood of dogs is coming for us now. <laughs> I mean, look at this road. What is this? It's like an off road obstacle course. Yeah. Oh my god. We just went into this pool of water and it's like a huge, huge ditch. We couldn't even see it, but it's a huge ditch. And then the whole bike just went whoa, off to the side. Oh man, I could have gotten out of that. It's a shame. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just take off the, um, let's just take off the tank bag and the rear box and then we'll do it. Easy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hola. Uh, tres, dos, uno. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Okay. Fell over right in the middle of the crossroads, eh? God, this really high altitude, so it's really hard to breathe and exert any energy. All right, let's get out of this crossroads ASAP. Wow, that tired me out so much. Well, we were just saying like how bad the road was. I don't know, I lost concentration a bit, went into the puddle and the puddle was massively deep and it just shocked me and I didn't have enough speed and then the whole thing just went bloop. So we finally made it out of the uni and although the salt flat is named after a uni, the actual entrance or like the main entrance to the salt flats is actually about 10 miles up. So that's where we're heading right now. All right, we've arrived in Kolchani and this is pretty much the entrance here towards the salt lakes. Oh, I'm so excited to see the salt lakes! Woo! Oh yes! <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Find out if we can ride on it or not. Uh oh! I know. Yeah. Oh how cool! So they've got a little building here made out of salt and they've got this car which I think was a car but it's completely covered in salt. <laughs> wow how cool look at this it's absolutely crazy! They've completely covered this car in salt. <laughs> Do you think there's a car underneath? I don't know. And here is a salt llama. That's pretty cool. Over here, some salt flamingos. Are, are these ones salt? No, these aren't salt. <laughs> the bricks for this house are salt. Salt bricks. Look, look, look. Whoa, wow, that's so cool. <sighs> that's amazing. Yeah, look, here's a salt brick here. It's not that heavy, about as heavy as a concrete brick. It's actually made of solid salt. Wow, that's so cool. cool. Okay, look at this, getting to the end of the road now. Wow. Oh my God, we are right out in front of the salt flats now. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. What a place. Magical. <laughs> 
absolutely magical but my god that's so wet it's not dry at all is it oh no. my god okay let's go and have a look yeah wow look at the ground it's full with salt oh my god is that cool oh it looks so magical oh my god it looks absolutely amazing wow oh no oh no it's definitely not dry unfortunately <laughs> Oh my lord. Man, look, that looks super deep there. I think there's one hole. Okay, we're just gonna go down to the end of this little road here. I can see some cars there venturing out into the lake, but oh my god, it looks deep. Yeah, it looks very deep actually. It does, it does. It looks way too deep, I think, for us, but we're gonna go to the end here and we're gonna have a look and see if we can edge out or not <laughs> yes because i would really love to ride on on this lake but man i don't know okay let's uh, stop here and take a look yeah wow wow what a place oh. <laughs> wow oh, okay no, look at this yeah there's no chance that we can ride in that look this is at least at least that deep and we can't navigate through that <laughs> no way i think we have to put this on our bucket list <laughs> to come back hey and yeah. ride on it yes yeah i don't think we're going to be riding on it today but anyway let's take off our boots yes and we can at least walk in it can't we uh, definitely That is salty hay. Wow. <laughs> nice. Look at this. I kind of want to have a salty bath in here. I think you could probably lie down in it if you wanted to. Let's walk to this island. Yes, Salt Island. Yeah. Cool. You're on a Salt Island. Nice. What a place! What a place to visit! Incredible! We've been waiting so long to see this place, to be here. There's some other bikers here. I want to see if they're going to ride on the lake or not. Oh my god. No, this car is like, like deep, deep in. That's like a big 4x4. Four four. Hello! 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 You? Hello! No? So as you'd imagine, this is the world's largest salt flat, Sala Uyuni. And we're at an elevation here of 3,656 meters above sea level. And what's absolutely crazy about this is despite the fact that it's 80 miles across, it only variates by about one meter at the most at any point. So it's a really, really, really flat place. So during the dry season, of course, this is all totally dry and you can ride on it and you can go wherever you like, but of course, this is the wet season here, the rainy season in Bolivia. So effectively, this is the world's largest mirror. This used to be basically a giant prehistoric lake 40,000 years ago, but that all evaporated 
and basically left the salt flats. So the name Salar Uyuni, well Salar is a salt flat and Uyuni means pen or enclosure and they're not exactly sure why it's called Uyuni but they think that maybe it's because of the salt and the enclosed islands that are out on the salt flats here. So you can see that there really isn't a lot of life here, in fact there's absolutely no life here but in November this place becomes the breeding ground for flamingos and other bird species. So if you come here in the right season you can see wildlife. So the indigenous people here are called the Aymara and they actually have a legend about how the Salar formed. Basically there's three deities, Tunupa, Cusco and Cusina. And these are actually three big mountains that surround the Salar. Now the legend is that Tunupa married Cusca but Cusca ran off with Cusina. So Tanupa was really sad and she was crying whilst breastfeeding her son. So her tears mixed with the milk and formed the Salar. There you go, a little bit of legend. Wow, look at this, how much salt I have on my legs. <laughs> look. Oh my God. Look, I will save some for later, our potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, it's time to say goodbye to the uni salt flats, the uni salt puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye big puddle. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Just the wrong time. So I know we didn't go out onto the salt flats, but it's still gonna be a really good idea for us to wash the bike now, just because there was still a lot of salt spray and we don't know where that's gotten to. So they have a few washing, like auto washing places in this little town. So we're gonna go there and get Bumblebee nice and clean. Yes. Because anyway, Bumblebee was super, super dirty over all of this rainy, muddy roads that we've been on. Plus, we basically dropped her in a mud puddle earlier on today. <laughs> so anyway, Bumblebee is due for a clean. So let's go make that happen. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta. Yes, Bumblebee is all cleaned up. Woo -woo. <laughs> nice, that's a good feeling. Get all the mud off, get all the salt off. Hello. <laughs> so now we have actually an awesome surprise for you guys because we're about to meet some other overlanders. So we just got message that they have arrived here in town. Uh, so I imagine they've gone back down to the salt area. So we'll go find them down there. So they're called Bridget and Kiva. And actually it's amazing because Bridget is going for a Guinness World Record herself. So as we're going for youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle, Bridget is going for youngest woman to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. How awesome is that? She started her journey up in the US and now she's come all the way down and we've been like monitoring her progress and keeping in touch. And now we've ended up in the same place. She's on her way down, we're on our way up. So we're gonna go meet them now. Yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, so we've arrived back at the Salara Uni and let's see if we can see them anywhere. I mean, they might have actually gone out onto the salt flats. We don't even know. Yeah, it's true. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? Where have they gone? Maybe around here? Oh, ah. I can see some bikes there. Is this one their bike? Yeah, where are the girls? I don't know. <laughs> I can see their bikes, but oh, they're gone. Their bikes, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is their bikes. Ah, they're over there. <laughs> well, we'll just park up here then. Yeah. Cool, look at these bikes. Kawasaki versus Bridges bike, Kiva's bike. And they're over there. What's up? So we're still here at the Salt Lake and uh, it's getting a little bit closer to sunset, but we're trying to decide if 
we want to actually camp here next to the salt lake or if we go to a space on i Overlander, which is about 20 minutes ride away because bridget and kiva are saying that they actually want to ride on the salt lake tomorrow in the morning so we're like debating whether we do the same thing oh, what wow. I'm gonna, i put them on my um Mirror. Cool. Oh, that's really nice. She got me one too. You have to go to the lady at the end if you want the deal on mamas. Okay, okay. The lava this deal. This was lava ten, deal. and these were five. She's quested out into the salt flats to bring us this flavoring, this beautiful flavoring for our chips. <laughs> uh, yeah, because originally Lavi said, "Oh, do you have any salt to this lady here?" And it's like we're in like the largest salt flat in the world. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 10 billion tons of it. So anyway, Hi. we've got chips with Uyuni salt. Oh, yeah, nice. Sunset over the lake, hey? Cool. Okay, so after some chips, we've decided that we're actually going to stay right here. So we're actually going to be just making a bit of a wall against the wind because there's actually a storm over there in the distance so we're just hoping that that doesn't come this way and also hoping that it doesn't make the salt flat the salt lakes more flooded and the water coming over here oh. we're quite close to the edge but let's hope for the best so anyway we're going to put all our bikes here we're going to put our tents here and that's going to be our camp for the night I think it's be great. i'm excited to wake up tomorrow to see everything happening exactly <laughs> Motorcycle party! <laughs> I'm putting um, Lavi and Ollie in the friends section. Hey. Yes! There we Beautiful. go. Beautiful! Perfect! Perfect. <laughs> Super crazy at the moment. So, on the salt flats where we wanted to camp, the water is coming actually up and now we had to move our tents away. So, we found like a little bit of an island here where we just set up our tents now. And <laughs> now we have just to move the bikes over that they are not. They're floating away tomorrow. Camp try number two. Hopefully the storm will calm down a little bit. Good evening guys, we made it. Happy and alive. Yes, yeah, try number two for the camp. <laughs> Successful and the wind has died down a little bit. Yeah, it's very cozy now. Really, really cozy neighbors right here. Look at this. Hey. <laughs> and there are still people heading out into the water on the salt flats. I don't know where they're going out here, but... Yeah, it's absolutely crazy because it's completely dark. But we've got an amazing starry night tonight. And let's hope the storm doesn't hit us. And we're in the perfect place to get a nice sunrise over the salt lake. It's going to be absolutely awesome tomorrow. I'm really excited for that. And maybe we're actually going to go for a ride out on the salt lake. <laughs> We'll see. Yes, so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.